Hey everyone, this is Candid Anne, and I am back with another video with my husband doing a Universal Yums um, unboxing, I guess. And so we've got a new camera, you guys, so we're trying to make it a little bit better so we're able to zoom in or at least focus up close. I'm also going to drink some wine with this Universal Yums unboxing, okay? <laughs> so if you remember, we're going to read last month's clue again. In little white houses perched by the sea, the people munch on olives and serp saffron tea. If you don't like what they like, you're more than just crazy. You might upset the gods and wind up in Hades. So what was your guess that this month's I think possibly? I guess it was possibly Greece. I don't know. I have well, no idea. I guessed it was Greece last month. So now we're going to open it up and see who was right. Okay. Oh! <laughs> You want to hold this up to the camera? So it was Greece. So the first thing looks like a salty snack called Totis chips. Real potatoes, real taste. So it's some type of uh, potato chip. Mm. This wine mm. smells it's so good. like potato chips. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much tastes like sour cream and onion pitted potato chips that you get here. Mm, I like these better. The texture is good. Yeah, they're nice and light. Yeah. Mmm. If you've had Lay's potato chips, they're... These are better. Like, light like uh, Lay's potato chips. Mm -hmm. Not hard. Nicely Just seasoned. Like this a lot. This is the winner. Next one up to try our Miko... Mini breadsticks with extra virgin olive oil, sun-dried tomato, and Kamala, Kalamata olives. This wine is awesome. I'm feeling good, y'all. I had an exam today. I think I did really well on my exam. I studied so hard, and so I'm celebrating. <laughs> Not much of a smell to it. Oh, they look like little breadsticks. Well, that's what it says. Mini that's what it sticks. says. I'm, drink I'm drinking. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> these need to be dipped into something. Yeah, these are nice and crunchy, but not much of a flavor dry. at all. Yeah, they're kind of dry. They're good. I'm not going to tell a lie. As you eat it, more cheesy flavor or some kind of like... There's a very, you know, tomatoey flavor that comes out as you chew it, once you chew it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But not... It's not meant to be eaten by itself, I don't think so. I mean, but... It's not a very powerful flavor. Yeah. It's more breadsticks than uh, anything else. And they are kind of dry. So I'm going to have to get a little bit of water. Uh, I would give that a 5 out of 10. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. I think if you had, like, some good dip, this would be awesome mm -hmm. with those. I would eat this again. This reminds me of something that, we, you know, when you go to a Bed Bath & Beyond, they have, the, like, the little dips or whatever there. Mm -hmm. This is good, you guys. Yeah, I try not to rate things with uh, the thought of, oh, this would taste good with something else. I'm just rating it on but how it tastes. But I'm not meant tastes. to be eaten by myself. Who says that? Who eats breadsticks by themselves dry like this? Do you look for instructions to prove me wrong? Yeah. <laughs> this looks to be another salty snack. Looks like little mini bagels but they're called garlic bread chips it has a nice light garlicky scent to it mm. that's not mm. light garlic that's a the flavor it's a scent this is really if you like garlic um if you like what's that italian thing the um toasted um italian bread with the garlic garlic if you like garlic bread that's what i'm trying to think of if you like garlic bread, you guys, you're going to love this. This is really nice and buttery. Nice garlic flavor, nice crunch. This is good. Yeah, this is really good. Uh, a lot of times you get chips like this, it could be a little hard, but these are these are not hard. They're nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. They're and not hurting the roof of my mouth. You know how you eat things and it's busting up the, the, your gums and stuff, the roof of your mouth? This is not doing that. This is very, very, very good. So far, yo, grease is a winner, babe. And this is... Uh, when you bite them, it has a nice burst of garlic flavor that mm. you know hits your tongue as soon as you bite into the uh, the chip. 
but it is a little salty, so I gotta take another sip of water. Uh, now it looks like there's a bunch of sweet snacks left in here. So the next one we're gonna try is Serenata. Mm. Looks like chocolate filled croissants. Mm. I've never had a packaged croissant like this. Okay, so it is just one big croissant. Mm. That's really big, yeah. It's nice and... Ooh, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, it's nice and soft, you guys. Really super soft. I can't even imagine where the chocolate would be at. Let me see if I can open this up for you guys. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Well, it looks like it's... Uh, it's contained in there, so I'll take off this first end here. Mmm. This. Oh my god. Oh lord. We know I like croissants, but this croissant right here. That croissant. This is good. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. The outside bun is nice and soft. I haven't even gotten to the, the chocolate part yet. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to but work to the part. The outside, there's oh. not a lot of butter on it at all, but it has a nice sweetness to the, the, mm -hmm. the breading. You know, for being a pack, you know, something was in a package. Yes, it's so soft. I'm really surprised how soft and uh, tender it is. How the hell did they do this? So now I took a bit with the chocolate and it really, really goes nice together. I could do without the chocolate, to be quite honest with you. The croissants, by itself. The chocolate isn't bad. But the croissant is so awesome. The croissant is so soft, so sweet, so tender, so... The croissant is so damn good, y'all. That I could do without the chocolate. Mmm. Buy it. Mmm. Get some of that. Yeah. It's not the most appetizing looking thing in the world. It doesn't look dookie in there, right? <laughs> when, I, when I opened it, I didn't want to say nothing. I was like, it looks like shit in there. But, <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but I was going to let you imagine it on your own. You know, it's not the most appetizing looking thing in the world. Yeah. You guys see what that looks like? Squeeze mm -hmm. a little bit so they can see it. Ooze. Yeah. Unappetizing as this looks, it tastes really good. Makes up for how it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. That bread, yo. Woo! All right, this seems to be some type of rose type candy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's a very strong flavor. I like it though. Very strong rose flavor. <laughs> Almost like perfumey. Yeah, it has a very floral, oh my god very floral essence Woo! not only do you taste stronger. it stronger but you also it also has an aroma that goes through your head it's something i don't want to call it menthol yes some kind of like um you know how like menthol goes through your nasal passage and stuff exactly. like that yeah. this has something inside there sort of like a mint or lozenger or some sort of that kind of a thing very very strong i mean it's nice it, um it was kind of like a hard sticky candy, but like it's sort of like a, a hard gummy bear. Yeah, very hard gummy bear. Well, I here. like it because this is one of the most interesting candies I've had yeah. outside of, uh, you know, rather inside of one of these uh, these boxes. This is okay for me. I mean, like I'm not. It's it is interesting. The flavor is interesting, but the texture is sticking to my teeth. I'm not a big fan of like things sticking to my teeth necessarily, and I feel like it's an overwhelming like um. Too overwhelming. Mm. Like it's all in my nose and stuff like that. I don't know who gave us this wine. This wine is a y'all. I'm gonna have to hold on to the label on this one because if I find this again, this is good. Bingo Savonata, fun European wafer. So far, Greece has been good to me. Is anybody from Greece out there? Holla if you hear me. Loving your food so far. Oh, it's very, Jesus. very... Jesus, uh, so I don't know why you couldn't just buy that. It's very, uh, very light. There's a few layers of um, wafers surrounded by chocolate. It's yeah. kind of like milk chocolate, but at the end, when you're when you're biting it, when you're 
finally swallow it, it has a little explosion of uh, chocolate. I can't really, I can't really put my, it's really hard to describe. Or, it's sort of like a Kit Kat, mm -hmm. more milk chocolate. chocolate. The chocolate is more milky than the regular American Kit Kat. Anyhow, so this is a chocolate with, this is a picture of, a, painting, a picture of the painting of Mona Lisa. Yeah. Uh, we cut one open so you can see what it looks like inside. I don't know what I'm tasting. <laughs> Why is it like... I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but it's not, it doesn't taste good either. I think I'm drunk. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Jesus. <laughs> really? I mean, the outside I chocolate this... is alright. But this... whatever it is inside. You don't like that? It's just bad. I think it's a little bit more on the dark chocolate side. Next thing looks to be another chocolate bar and mm -hmm. it looks to be orange flavored. Probably has some mm -hmm. orange essence in it. Not really sure. So we have, this looks dark. Oh, I don't like dark chocolate. So you know what this reminds me of? You know about Christmas time, they have those chocolate oranges, oranges. and you hit, mm -hmm. hit it and it opens in slices. That's what this reminds me of. I said that this is dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, when you bite into it, there's a little orange liqueur, I guess you would call it, in the center. So when you're chewing the chocolate, the orange flavor just burst out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then later the chocolate comes out. The next thing is this uh, soft nougat. Mm. <laughs> Weird. Okay, spit this out. I take too much of a big bite. The nougat is kind of chewy. Just oh, man. It's very, very, very sweet. Lots of honey. I think you should not take a big bite like I took. I took a really big bite, and it's sort of overwhelming because it's really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like um. I don't like. It's kind of spongy too. Yeah, the, the texture. I was gonna say I don't like like spongy, creamy texture and stuff like that in my mouth. You know, so I don't like the texture in my mouth. The flavor is okay. It's not the best thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just okay. So now we have these candies, these little chocolates. We have them in a couple of different flavors. So it has a little nougaty thing inside the middle here, you guys. I like chocolate, but um. I prefer if it had a little bit more of a firmer mouthfeel. That you gave it, I gave it like maybe two or three bites and it was almost gone. It's two so or three creamy. chews. Yeah, it's very, very creamy. So if you like a creamy, soft type chocolate. Very um, milky. I like it. That's uh I like it. This one is like a little bit more lighter. And it has like specks of some kind of peanut or something inside there. Mm, this is interesting. It does have like little nuts inside. Same type of chocolate. Same type of very smooth mouthfeel, but this mm. one has a little bit more of a vanilla flavor to it. Mm. Almost like ice cream. Yeah. Mmm. This one, that one was really good. Which yeah. one was that? That was this one? Mm -hmm. The orange one. This one has a little nut inside of it. I, I want to say it's a hazelnut. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it's okay. It's not as good as the, the praline one that we had. Alright, so the last candy we have is this little blue thing. At least the wrapper's blue. Don't know what the actual candy looks like yet. Uh, reads Ozu. I have so much chocolate. I gotta read a while for it. It has a. Mmm, it's coming. Very strong licorice flavor. I like licorice. Mmm, it does. I hate mm. licorice. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. As <clears throat> has a very mm. strong licorice flavor. That's I like taste. licorice, you guys. I don't know if there's anything in the center because I'm not even going to try to get to mm. the center. I'm getting to the center right now. If you like licorice, you, you definitely like this. I mean, these motherfuckers, boy. Who likes black jelly beans? I know a lot of people don't like black jelly beans, but I love black jelly beans. And this is good. It's good. It's disgusting. That's excellent. I love it. When he's up to you. 
Yeah, we're gonna stop the video now and heat up the tea, heat up, heat up the water rather, to try this uh, mm -hmm. saffron herbal tea. Alrighty guys, so we're back, we made the tea. It's interesting, it has definitely a nice little mint flavor to it. You feel like a little coolness of the mint oils as it goes, as, it, um, as it's in your mouth. And a slight hint of lemon, lemongrass, once it's going down your throat. This tea is nothing special. It tastes like a mixture of lemon and fruits like a very light fruit flavor. Maybe it's like some sort of chamomile sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. It's not bad at all. It's not amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it's on the better side of teas because mm -hmm. I've had some teas that were kind of funky. Mm -hmm. It's kind of soothing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of a tea that's kind of soothing. Mm -hmm. Not. It's not a tea that's sort of going to wake you up in the morning to kind of get you going. I doubt, I mean, it doesn't taste like it has like lots of caffeine. It's more like just a really soft, like calming tea. So next month's clue is We've searched high and low for the best of the best. We've tried snacks of the north, south, east, and west. We've looked in the mountains, prairies, and the oceans with form. And we've reached our conclusion. There's no place like home. This clue is kind of easy. It's definitely going to be the United States. Yeah, because I mean, who, uh, where are you going to think about the north, east, south, and west? It's very much United States and you talk about this no place like home and Universal Yums is in I guess they come from New Jersey so it has to be from home so that's what I'm thinking but let me tell you guys I am I want a Universal Yums to come from the Caribbean all right I want some Haiti Sakpase I want some Puerto Rico Wepa. I want some some Barbados I need some I need some Caribbean stuff in here. So I hope Universal Yums comes out with the Caribbean box. I think next month, like you said, is definitely gonna be United States, but I'm looking forward to a Caribbean box with some Caribbean flavor. Yeah. I'm kinda of disappointed that next month is gonna be the United States. So I'm hoping that they put some really unusual candies and not just Some Snickers, ghetto snacks. <laughs> Snickers and Kit Kats and the normal stuff that yeah. you can get anywhere in I the United States. I just go to the hood so or something. Hopefully, you know, it'll be something interesting. So. Yeah. That's it for this month. Uh, yeah. Universal Yums. Mm -hmm. And that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye. We're trying to make it better, you guys, all right? In more ways than one. So, Can you pause it or something? No, we pause it for... Because I want to ask you a question. What? Um, you said we are going to use two cameras last time? Well... Do you want me to set up two cameras? I figure we could, I mean, if you want me to, I can. Do you want to do that? I can, because if you have your tripod, I can put up the camera right here. I, I don't know, I was just expecting to see two cameras, because that's just- You expect a whole fucking lot, when I mean, you was upstairs getting ready real slow, it wasn't helping me down here. You expect me to come down here after all that work and, and slay down here and get this whole nonsense out while you set up to the play- While the stars sits in back <laughs> and gets ready, that's right. I swear I'll give you a cough. I can give you a cuff at word. Don't play with me, man. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Start over. Start over. Okay. Oh, wait. So how are we going to get the... Oh, the thing could close up now. Okay. I don't know if I like this way. Wardrobe! That's you, you know. Aaron, you <laughs> made three videos. Are you hollering for wardrobe and shit? <laughs> <laughs> hollering for you. I told you I did not put sugar in there. Okay, Aaron, I can stir my tea though, right? No. Unless there's something to stir in it. You know, you don't own me. You know, you don't own me. <laughs> you know, you don't own me. Can you tell me what my last name on it? That's know. the reason why I didn't want to take your last name. That's the reason why I don't want to take your last name. Because you don't own me. Okay? You just bought and paid for it. Edward, you didn't begin paying. Branded. Don't dip that in there. You're ruining it. It's my tea. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> to hell with that tea and drinking this. Alright. Alright, let me go edit this video. Mm -hmm. You sit down there, ask for a wardrobe, and ask for all kind of fuckery. Guess the editing woman.
and freshen up my tea.